seen us out here, you know, it was a bad day, you know, we just shooting a little bit. We're gonna take it inside Studio 609, Philly. I don't know, we in, right now we in the lounge area of the studio, you know. This is where, you know, everybody kind of sit back, fall back when in, the, in between sessions and cutting off. You just want to chill. Let's see who in here making some music. This is a little production room. Oh, we got Alex. This is one of our young up and coming producers. He in here making, making a lot of noise. Hey, Alex, part, part of Harry now. Alex, you know what I'm saying? This is Alex, part of Harry now. You know, so, better known as Cheese Grill, better known as. AKA uh, uh, Carlos Brigante. But y'all just see what's going on. There's something working in every little crevice of this place. So. This is how you're supposed to do a studio. Every little room got to be occupied, working, yeah. moving, productive. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is the feed room. You know, it's just, you know, where you can basically cut a whole album in here and get what you got to get done. And a little booth. And, uh, you know, we're still under construction, so we got little things here like that. We got trim coming. We got new speakers coming in. That's all coming out. Y'all see in the raw, but yeah. we ain't here working, though. We ain't here working. Hey, by now, we in Studio C. Studio 609, it's kind of identical to Studio B, just a smaller vocal booth, but... We call them Twin Terra Rooms. Twin Terra Rooms, you know, but basically you do the same thing here. You cut, real comfortable, have fun, whatever, you know. You know, it feels like a basement room to us. You know, it's you know, a comfortable just... couch, flat screen booth, you know. Yep. Nothing crazy, just comfortable in here, you know. Mr. Butler, that's the man right there, produced by Philly. Finest gambling house, you know and, what I'm saying? You know, then we the other two finest behind them. That's where we have fun at, you know, we play on live. Everything we play is mostly everything live, so you know. And this is basically, you know, it's where it all goes down at, folks. Yes. It's that time. I'm gonna take the subtle approach first, because I'm just getting started. Let's go. Look. I'm not talking about one one hit, you know. You gotta keep going. Need it up a publicity. You know, where we mix every record that you probably heard in the past three years and you know pretty much been cutting all our stuff here now that we have our own facility we don't have to go nowhere to mix record or nothing so that's what it's all about you know so world class right here for y'all you know got inspired first by being in church playing drums that's where it started and different family members then you know, just, just traveling around, listening to different music and... Yeah, and the funny thing is, we, we both... We're actually like eight months apart in, in age apart, and I started playing drums around six, seven, and so did he, so... Yep. You know, that's where our root came from, and uh, the the way we met each other, actually, uh, mm -hmm. his uncle, my uncle, they were like... Best friends. Great man. musicians and best friends, they they played with the Winans, <laughs> a gospel group back in the day. Big, you know, big so, time. Big time, bro. not even back in the day, still, yep. you know, awesome now, but... In the midst of all that musicianship, we were introduced to production game by a friend named Keith Pelzer. I had a friend that knew Jazzy Jeff, and he had a studio in his basement. basement. Pelzer, he uh, knew Jazzy Jeff, Jeff, so he like uh, would take us over to his house, and Jeff, you know, took a liking to us as as musicians, musicians. and stuff like yeah. that. So. Uh, I guess in, and, it was 94. 94, um, we kind of start rolling with Jazzy. And, and we signed to his 95, company. 95, 95, we signed yeah. to his company officially. Uh, and actually, just, yeah, actually, but the, the, <laughs> keep it all the way funky <laughs> with you guys out there. Uh, uh, Dow, he, unfortunately, he was in a, a car accident, and uh, he came to some case money. So uh, when he turned 16, he was like, look, man, I got this money. What should I do? And he's like, I'm thinking about buying some equipment. I was like, no, are you crazy? You gonna spend your money on equipment? Let's get a car, man. We gotta hit the streets. Young boys chasing the girl. And uh, the car thing it worked out, and Vidal ended up getting the ASR and the computer, and I mean, speakers, I, and some speakers and a couple pair of shoes <laughs> and that kind of thing, you know. And you know, I mean, as soon as he got the equipment, man, like just he started making tracks and stuff. And uh, I'm like, like hold the first up. week, yeah, I'm down with that. I gotta make some tracks too. <laughs> The music here is so powerful. If, if, if you go out on the road right now, any artist or band has two or more Philly musicians. It's just a strong yep. music city. You know, the, the, the music is so strong, strong here. Right now. It's going in the full circle here in the city. You got new artists coming out now, then artists that already was established. Everybody's just kind of like, 
trying to grasp and get back with each other. We owe it to our city so, to keep it alive, you know, because yeah. we definitely could have moved to Atlanta right. and different places. Yeah. Not not saying that we won't ever maybe get a house or something in other cities, but you know, our house, our hearts are still here yeah, in Philly, Philly. You know, yeah. it's, you know, just doing different things, just, branch you know, off. just to keep the city alive, and we'll put some features and different things on there. You know, shout out to Gene Carn. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're working on our own oh, artists right now. We're yeah. focusing in on building our brand. You know, and keep it fully alive. Yep. Uh, I got one that that changed our whole our whole approach to keeping up with what's going on in the music. We did a song with Ciara and Ludacris called "Oh." Wanna go platinum? I'm who you should get, 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 get. I let people really know that oh, these guys are good music. You know, yeah. they can do all sorts of things. Yeah. You know, we work with Michael Jackson. Yeah. Like you know. You come on one now. More, one more. Matter of fact, I don't know if you let me. <laughs> you get this picture, so y'all. <laughs> I was in the bathroom while we took this shot. That's an early, early bike pick. <laughs> yeah, you know, a little chunky love on there, but you know, got it together now. <laughs> Look out for a new record on uh, Luda. Uh, yeah, Luda, Usher. We got the uh, title cut for his new album, Here I Stand. Yeah, We're actually working with a young lady that's in the lounge now named Antonique. She's playing Faith Evans' role. Girl actually in the booth right Biggie now. Biggie Smalls so, movie. talking to that. Chris Brown, there's a lot of new artists. Um, Miguel, this new kid on Jive, he's an incredible artist. Um, Sierra, Mario, we're, we're working, working with on now. Mario, Sierra. Sierra. Uh, um, oh, we just yeah. did two songs with Kelly Clarkson. It's a lot of things coming, folks. Yeah. Man, I got a lot of support from my boys, Dre and Vidali. Let me come down to the studio, rock out every day whenever I want to, you know what I'm saying? Dude, Studio 609, man. Young C, yeah. <laughs>